with a school and community remembering the life of a teenager. Her family says a suspected drunk driver hit and killed this high school cheerleader. And our Rachel Hackbarth now with our top story at 10. She always believed in me when no one else did and never lost her hope in me. She was my rock when I hit rock bottom. We had our future planned out together. We would live in big houses right next to each other. Inconsolable friends trying to find comfort during a weekend that is supposed to be about celebration and being thankful. Instead, they joined with parents and grandparents to remember 14-year-old Ryan Moody. I remember Ryan telling me in seventh grade science about going to TCU and cheering for them. And every time she talked about it, I could tell how bad she wanted this. Although she didn't get to achieve that dream, God gave her another one. She died Thanksgiving night in a car crash. Two nights later, the Colleyville Heritage High School cheerleader was being remembered at Compass Church, a place friends say she called a second home. Joy, full of joy, no matter the circumstances. Joy filled, celebrated life and lived every moment to the fullest. Friends and family say the driver that crashed into Ryan was drunk, leaving everyone to find the strength to stand up and remember her and spread a message about the dangers of drinking and driving. You know, the Ryan's friends, you're going to be in situations where you're going to make choices, and hopefully one of you will make the right choice because of this. And if you do, that's a positive. Rachel Hackbarth, CBS 11 News. It's terrible. Uh, and we try to get in touch with the police in Lake Worth where the crash happened to get some details on this. We're still waiting to hear back from them. In an email to parents this evening, Colleyville Heritage High School's principal wrote about the crash, saying, quote, this also provides us all an opportunity, an unfortunate one, to remind our youth about the consequences of drinking and driving and the devastation it can cause. Counselors will be available at that school on Monday.